In this video series, we're going to be exploring the conic sections. In part one of the series, we will be looking at the locus definition of a parabola. So let's start with the locus definition. Our objective is to find the locus of points that are equidistant from a given line, that's called the directrix, and a point not on that line, which is called the focus. This locus is called a parabola. I will start by drawing the given line called the directrix. I will then plot the focus, and then I'll draw a line perpendicular to the directrix that goes through the focus. Let me find the midpoint between the two points I have here on my diagram, and that will show me one example of a particular point that is equidistant from the focus and the directrix line. There are many other points that are also equidistant from those two items, and so let's go ahead and figure out where the rest of those are. Since we know that the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, I'm going to construct a line that is perpendicular to our directrix line. I'm now going to connect the place of intersection of that perpendicular line with my directrix to the focal point and find the midpoint of that new segment, AF. Then construct the perpendicular bisector of segment AF, where it intersects my perpendicular line on the left. I will call that point P, and using our equidistance ideas, that if a point is on the perpendicular bisector of a segment, it will be equidistant to the endpoints of that segment. So in other words, equidistant to the directrix line, which was endpoint A, and equidistant to the focus. Now, the ratio of the distance from the focus to a point on the curve and from the point on the curve to the directrix is 1, and this is called the eccentricity. But hey, wait! Can you show me more? I want to know more about parabolas. In our follow-up video, we will explore the following. 1. What are some of the inherent characteristics of parabolas? And 2. How do I derive the equation for a parabola?